Hello everybody, can you, uh, can you all hear me? Um, we'll just go on for the last time so everybody's, uh, everybody's ready to make, uh, make a start. Um, welcome to the, uh, uh, the Pension Fund um, Employers uh, Meeting. My name is James Walton and I'm the, uh, uh, the Scheme Administrator for the um, uh, Pension Fund. Uh, I'm also the Section 151 Officer um, at Shropshire Council. Uh, my job title, uh, I'm not going to read out, it's too long, um, is up there on the screen. So I'm, I'm, I'm just here to give you a, a welcome and to um, take you through um, the, uh, the agenda uh, for today. Um, I'm only here for the first 10-15 uh, minutes, but then um, we have other speakers that will take you through uh, the relevant um, items on the agenda there. So we've got um, uh, Debbie Chowell, <coughs> Helen and, um, and Becky who will be taking you through the various, um, the various parts of that. Um, from uh, my point of view, as the uh, as Scheme Administrator, it gives me the opportunity to just talk about a few um, sort of high-level um, items, which um, uh, I'll just indulge in just for, uh, for a few moments. Um, first thing in terms of the uh, pension fund uh, for Shropshire Council as a whole, uh, so the, the Shropshire County Pension Fund as a whole, um, uh, last year, the 16-17 financial year was a very good year for the fund in terms of um, uh, the value of our, our assets. Um, the scheme itself made um, £274 million in the space of 12 months, which means that uh, it's now valued at just short of um, £1.8 billion. Uh, pounds. So that is a huge uh, return on the value of the assets. They've almost gone up by a fifth within 12 months. Now, uh, obviously, what we're looking to do is to make sure that the assets uh, within the fund uh, balance uh, the, the level of the liabilities that are assessed um, to, be within that, um, to be within that fund. Um, so obviously, the way that the assets increase helps us to, uh, to manage that. Um, and uh, as I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll be aware, um, uh, you know, a 20% increase in funds in 12 months is not something that we'd expect to see every year, but it's very welcome um, that it's come along this year. That outperformed the benchmark, so we, the benchmark suggested that we should be getting 15%. Uh, 40 to 50 percent increase, um, but because of the selection of managers and the type of assets that we hold, uh, we were able to um, outperform that. Now, just over half of, um, of, uh, of our assets are held um, in equities in one form or another, um, and it was equities that really, really performed well um, in the last 12 months. One, uh, one particular manager uh, of ours um, made a return of around 43 percent in one year. So different, uh, different returns from the different forms of, uh, of assets that we hold, but overall a very, very good um, year. Now, um, taking that forward, um, we've also been doing a lot of work around um, LTPS Central. Now, for those of you that don't know what LTPS Central is, this is a company that we have set up um, with um, seven other um, uh, county uh, pension schemes. Uh, they're all listed up there and they're around the, uh, the, the close geographical area um, of the, uh, the Midlands. Um, so why have we set this company up? Well, um, we uh, have, a, as I say, a fund of about £1.8 um, billion. Pounds. Um, by pooling those assets together with those other or, uh, organisations, um, we have um, an asset pool of about £40 billion. Pounds. And what that means is, is that where we've been getting really good returns in terms of our uh, asset selection, the potential here is that there might be more money in bigger pools and bigger um, items into uh, those different um, asset classes. We can make even bigger returns. But more importantly, um, maybe not so, uh, more importantly, but, but um, easier to, um, uh, to, to, to demonstrate, um, is that we would also expect to see lower fees. So if at the moment we're investing money with a particular manager and we're putting £100 million pounds into that, or as a pool, we could maybe put a billion pounds into that and we could negotiate, therefore, um, lower fees. So we're expecting to see, hopefully, better returns, um, but, uh, but, but lower fees on the back of that. Now, what that means is, is that we'll be part of a much bigger pool. So rather than the 40, um, 45,000 members within um, uh, Shropshire, uh, we'll be part of getting close to um, a billion, uh, a million um, LTPS members across the whole of the Midlands. Um, the 164 employers within Shropshire were part of nearly 2,500 employers. Now, that means that we're part of a, a big organisation, but the, the, the thing to remember is, is that this is a company that we've set up, so we're part of it, and even though we are the smallest partner in terms of our signs within those um, within Altipia Central, um, the voting uh, is actually split equally, so we get a one with one eighth uh, voting share. Uh, just like the others, so West Midlands, um, West Midlands scheme, which is by far the biggest of those schemes itself, also only gets a, a one-hand um, share. 
The other thing that's really important to everyone who is part of this is um, the actual administration of the schemes are going to change. So Debbie and her team will still be administering the pension in terms of um, Shropshire County Pension Fund, um, Shropshire, um, Shropshire's Pension um, Committee will still be meeting in the same way and making the same decisions about how we allocate those assets and where we decide to put those assets in terms of the classes. All that will change is instead of us selecting the manager and hoping to get the best deal, instead Elfrey Central is set as our company to try and get those, those better deals um, for us. So in terms of um, what LTPS Central is there to do, the key objectives are um, to try and reduce, reduce those um, investment costs while making as big a return as they uh, possibly can. Um, it also enables us to access um, a wider range of asset classes. So at the moment, because of the size of our scheme, we have to put um, a fairly um, uh, reasonably small amounts in, 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 in the sense of, um, of the money markets um, into certain asset classes. So some classes we just can't get enough money within our scheme to be able to invest in. By pulling that money together, it means we can now start to invest in other, other areas as part of that. And the other thing is around ensuring um, good governance. The way that the uh, Alpha Centre has been set up, all of the, um, the pension funds have come together to decide exactly how that's going to work. It says our, our company, and so we want to make sure that um, all of that governance works appropriately. So, Shropshire County um, uh, Pension Committee has one member who sits on the shareholders forum for LPS Central, so all members are represented. Um, we have our officers set in various um, bodies as well, uh, working through. Now, in terms of um, the company itself, the, um, uh, the timeline that we've been working along uh, is set out there, it's quite difficult to read, but really what you need to know is it started the journey in, Je in July 2016, um, and at this point in time, we have the company set up, we have the major um, employers, uh, employees um, within, that, uh, within that fund now have been recruited, so we have a chief executive officer, a chief investment officer, a chief financial officer, etc., etc. Um, and at the moment, we're going through FCA registration, so the company is now um, sending off a set of various details to the Finance uh, Conduct Authority, and that is now being assessed. Um, we would hope that that will then get a positive uh, response in the, uh, in the new year, and then the company itself will go live in um, April uh, 2018. Um, and in terms of the, uh, the, uh, the pension, uh, sorry, the Electric uh, Central, um, there will be uh, the chief um, the chief investment officer will be coming along to the AGM uh, to talk about um, so that in, in some more detail. Um, which we'll get to in a moment. The other thing that we've uh, uh, produced uh, every year we produce the annual um, uh, report. Um, so this is the uh, includes the financial accounts for the 2016-17 financial year. The annual report is produced and goes on to the um, the website. Uh, the report itself is a very useful document, so in terms of some of the background to the things that are being talked about today, it does give a lot more um, information in terms of the uh, pension fund investments and the performance. Um, it talks about some of the administration behind the scheme and gives you more details on that. It talks about our governance arrangements and sets that out, um, and then importantly, uh, includes the, uh, the accounts for the 2016-17 financial year. So not only talking about that, that high level of return I mentioned earlier, but then giving you details of all of the administration costs and the costs associated with the entire um, scheme. So, just to finish, uh, from me, in terms of the uh, uh, some dates for the diaries, um, on the 10th of November uh, we have our annual meeting. Um, again, this will be filmed and people um, are welcome uh, to come on if you can, uh, if you can make it. Um, so uh, Jason, uh, Jason Fletcher, who's the Chief Investment Officer from LTP Central, um, he'll be coming along and he'll be talking about uh, LTP Central in a lot more detail uh, than, uh, than, uh, than I have. So if there are any um, questions uh, from that or things that you'd like to know more about, that's a good opportunity to, um, to, uh, to see that. Um, we're also talking more detail about the, um, uh, the fund investment performance. Uh, we, will bring, 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 we will be bringing an investment manager um, along, uh, one of our managers who invests in global equities, who, who had a very strong return um, of 40% um, in one year. Um, so they'll be very pleased to come on and talk to us about um, how they've made all that money on our behalf. Um, we'll then have a further update from the, um, uh, the uh, on fund administration from the team itself. So if, uh, if you'd like to come along, um, to the AGM, um, then please just get in touch with us and the pensions team, um, and they'll be able to book you. Um.
So I'm not anticipating um, any questions, but before I hand over, um, if anybody does have any uh, any questions, then I'm happy to, uh, to take them. Otherwise, I'll hand on to the first speakers. Tonight.